Battle Day 12, 3271. Good welcome, citizens. Our united efforts continue to be rewarded in the struggle for peace. Wherever there is oppression, Nod is there. Not with empty promises of propaganda, but with divination. Good evening. By permission of General Hassan himself, it is with great honor that we bring you the following live execution. One vision, one purpose. Exana? One vision, one purpose, Maychek. I can tell from all the Vertcom traffic tonight that this termination is a special one. Yes, very special. I've been told the mixture this evening is 100% toxin and no sedative. If everything goes as planned, our traders should remain fully conscious to the painful end. We'll keep our fingers crossed. General Hassan has joined us. One vision, one purpose. The technology of peace. Be seated. One death is not enough for Anton Slavik. For attempting to give our enemy our most vital secrets, the GDI spy should die a thousand times. In the name of Cain! Sweet dreams, Slavik. Dead and back, Commander. Dead and back. Sir! It's an honor to have you back! Traitor. Cabal, situation? A division of Hassan's elite guard is closing in on our position. The probability of a favorable outcome can be increased if we can return to your main base and engage the enemy as we move. Define favorable outcome, Cabal. They all die. That'll do. Let's go. No manor structure stays standing. Establishing battlefield control. Stand by. The Brotherhood of Nod is in chaos then. An internal power struggle between three different leaders has factionalized the Unit once united lost. Brotherhood. And uh, now it is our chance, our responsibility, to reunite the Brotherhood. Let's propel these invaders here first. You can see Hassan's units are marked in blue. Our units playing as Anton Slavik here, are uh, just the traditional Nod Red. And we can have a look at a bunch of new units here. So we started by seeing some light infantry running down the road here, pursued by one of the attack buggies here. At our base, we have some new defense turret. These are the laser turrets. The Hander Nods had a complete redesign. Here's our construction yard and the Nod power plant down here as well. Base perimeter has been breached. And that voice you can hear is Cabal, probably my favorite character in all of Command & Conquer. Power levels are low. Let's get on that. You can see on the ground as well, patches of pavement. Now, that's going to play a part in uh, many of the later levels. Something you'll see as we progress through this level um, is that subterranean APCs are going to pop up in our base, which is one of the new advanced pieces of tech that Nod has access to in the Second Tiberian War. Not that that war has even begun yet. This is the Nod Reunification War, the first level in the uh, chrono uh, chronological order. There we go. Here's those subterranean APCs I was talking about. Let's repel these guys. Okay, let's get on that. These guys are tougher than I remember. Simple light infantry taking a pounding. Anyway, also I'm going to have to completely unlearn left click, right click, because it is uh, the classic layout here. We're getting on building a Tiberium refinery, but while we're doing that, let's get some light infantry going. 
Uh, one of the unfortunate things about an aging game is that you can only build up to five units. There is actually a way to change that in the ID files, which is what I'm going to look into before the next mission. Also, I'm going to bump up the scroll speed. Right, as he says that, we have our Tiberian refinery. Secondary objective achieved. Into the Tiberian to the north. Let's do it. Okay, we might need to send some forces to defend our harvester here. You can see units, they kind of pick up speed in this game, and then kind of terrain differences like that will slow them right down. The different kinds of mobility the different vehicles have as well, like these two are wheeled, there are hover vehicles, and uh, vehicles with tracks of course, as well as some walkers in the later game too. Anyway, let's go hunting for Hassan's units. Inf uh, infantry of course still vulnerable to Tiberian, so we will try to keep them safe. Oh, hang on. That's not what I want at all. You start harvesting. Oh, we've got some more forces back in our base. Let's quickly build these. You fight back here. Let's get on them. Okay, I have to learn all the new hotkeys as well. Destroy yes, all sir. Hassan's elite guard. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Take care of these. Civilian village here. Yes, sir. Is that really the most direct route? Whatever. Yes, Hang on, you didn't need to go Infantry start reporting. slaughtering this village. We can convert them to our cause. I'm just going to let this harvester come back just so we can complete that secondary objective. I don't want to finish it off just yet. We've got some forces coming from the north here. Don't think this is the last guy. Come on, harvester. There we go, okay. Uh, we can expect these guys to... Well, he'll probably die to the laser tablets. Let's forget him and go hunting for more of Hassan's units. Go, Bucky here. Unit lost. Let's move to the north. I was talking about vehicle speed as well. The different surfaces that you're moving across are going to have a big impact on the speed of your units as well. So you see the buggy's quite slow here, but when he gets onto the road, he'll go much quicker. In practical terms, there's not an awful lot you can use, um, or a lot of situations where you can use that to your advantage. Unit lost. I think this might be the last buggy here. Primary objective achieved. Raise the red flag of Anton Slavic there. 60% efficiency, we took a few casualties, did a little bit of harvesting, really there's not a lot to that mission. I played it much slower than I could have just because I wanted to kind of show off all the different aspects. Apparently I have some high scores in this, go figure. Well, I don't remember ever finishing this level before, but here we go, maybe that was from uh, the GDI campaign. Now I said in the intro video to this playlist I'm going to be going through in a chronological order. That doesn't just mean I'm going to be alternating between GDI and NOD. There's a kind of set timeline that includes all the missions that I'm going to be sticking to. What that means is going to be three more missions in the NOD reunification war before NOD is united enough to put up a front against GDI. So let's move on to that second NOD level next. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you join me again soon.